Hi, it's David, and today I'm going to share with you something which is literally going to blow your mind. Blow your mind! <laughs> because I'm going to share with you a secret method that not very many people know about, which is going to show you how to multiply massive numbers together on a massive scale. And I'm not kidding, by the end of this lesson, you are going to be able to multiply numbers like 1,692,432 times 12 almost as easily as you can do 2 times 12. Don't believe me? Have a look. The story starts in 1617, where a Scottish mathematician called John Napier invented a very clever method for calculating things really easily. And it was a system called Napier's Bones. No, not those kind of bones, John. These kinds of bones. But John Napier got the idea from an Italian maths book written all the way back in 1494. <gasps> Mamma mia! You stole my idea! <laughs> and to be fair, the Italians probably got the idea from the Chinese long before that. <laughs> And the Chinese probably nicked the idea from the Indians. So we're looking at a method here that goes back thousands and thousands of years. Before computers, before calculators, this was invented by the greatest mathematicians of ancient times to calculate massive numbers together on a massive scale. And right now, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm now going to demonstrate the method using this question. 234 multiplied by 38. Step one, you need to leave yourself enough room to do the calculation. So I'm going to leave a couple of lines and I'm going to put a multiplying symbol all the way on the right hand side of my page because the calculation is going to drift across the page this way. I now write my first number, 234, making sure that I put one digit in each square on its own, like that. The second number, 38, I'm going to write down the side as 30 and 8. Now I'm going to draw a grid. Now the most difficult part of the method and the most important bit to get right, I'm going to draw some diagonal lines, but you have to draw them very accurately. You have to draw them exactly diagonally across every box. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line across this box from corner to corner. But then I'm going to keep on going one more row below, like that. Draw it very accurately so it goes through the exact corners. I then do the same with the next box, which goes diagonally through that one and into the next one and onto the row below. And same again here. You have to draw these lines very, very accurately. If you don't, it will be very difficult to add the numbers up at the end. My last one goes diagonally through this box here, but I continue all the way down. So my line ends at the same point as the other lines ended. Now all I have to do is use my times tables knowledge to fill in the boxes. So in this box, I'm going to write the answer to four times three, which is 12. So I put the tens in the top section and the ones in the bottom section. Now I do three times three, which is nine. So that has zero tens, so I still must put the zero there. And then nine in the bottom section. Two times three is six, zero six. Now the next row, four times eight is 32. Three times eight is 24. 2 times 8 is 16. And the final step is to add up the numbers in the diagonals. So the first diagonal is a 2. The second diagonal is 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9. And I'll write the answer here. The third diagonal, 1 plus 9 plus 2 plus 6 is 18. So I write 8. And I carry the 1. Then I do 0 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1, which is 8. 
and I have to remember this digit as well, or in this case it is zero. And the answer is 8,892. The beauty of this method is that it can be done with any number of any size and really, really large calculations are almost as easy as the smaller ones too. So I'm now going to demonstrate this with a very simple calculation if you want to make it easy for yourself and then we're going to finish with a really complicated calculation so you can see just how easy the method is even with really large calculations. A simpler question would be something like 23 multiplied by 4. Like before, I put my time sign, I write my first number, one digit per box, 23, and my second number is four. I draw my grid, which is only two squares this time. I do a diagonal line through my squares. And I multiply like I did before. Three times four is 12. 2 times 4 is 8, and I add up diagonally, 2, 9, and 0, and the answer is 92. So if you're new to this method, you might want to try a slightly smaller calculation like this, although you're about to find out that the really, really big calculations are not that much harder. Let's try a massive calculation and see how we get on. Two. Four, three, six, five, times seven, nine, six, four, one. Same method as before, I put my multiplication sign here and I write my first number two four three six two four six three five. And my second number, 79641, goes down this side. 79641, and I draw my grid. And now let's fill in the numbers. Now add up the diagonals. And it looks like the answer we are left with is 19404529655. So in terms of American billions, it would be one billion. 940,452,965. So my challenge to you today is to invent your own problems. If you want to, start easy, start with like simple numbers like two digit numbers times one digit if you want to, but challenge yourself. See how big you can go. What's the biggest calculation that you can do with this method? You can use digit cards or playing cards or dice maybe to generate some random numbers, multiply them together, do the grid, do Napier's Bones and check your answer and see if you get it right. And then message me on my Facebook page and tell me what's the biggest calculation that you managed to solve without a calculator. It's also a fantastic method for practicing your times tables and we've talked about how important those are too. So that's it from me today, short and sweet, not much of an input, but actually plenty for you to do and plenty for you to get involved with. Next week, we're gonna be looking at reading and writing numbers and comparing numbers and rounding numbers, that kind of thing. And then in future weeks, we're gonna lead on to all of the calculation strategies that you'll want to know about, as well as fractions, decimals, percentages. Pretty much gonna be covering the entire primary maths curriculum over the next few weeks and months. So have great fun with Napier's Bones. It's a brilliant method. It's still my favorite one to use to this day.